Hi, today I'm taking a look at Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central and I'm going to have a look at the Edit in Excel function. So here I'm in a, a free trial standard demo environment and if I go onto the customers list page, now the only difference from a completely standard trial here is that I've already added in the Power BI reports app, but I've done nothing else. So what I'd like to do is export the data from this list page out into Excel and the functionality will actually let me change that data in Excel and publish it back into Business Central. So if I go to page and edit in Excel and then say open. This will open up Excel on my local machine. I need to click enable editing to allow the app to start to authenticate. So on the right hand side here we see that the app is going to use my save credentials for this demo environment, sign me into Excel as Andy Person, which I am for this demo, and once those credentials are authenticated, refresh the data and pull down that data from Business Central. So I have not just the fields that were visible on the list page, but all the data that I can pull through. Okay, so then I want to make a change to some of this data, perhaps add in something for address to. I can then publish and write that back to Business Central. That's successful. I minimize this. Back in Business Central, if I go on the card page for that specific customer that I changed, we see the data that I updated. Okay, so we just saw me make a change to the data for this customer, and perhaps we want to double check here that I can't put bad data back in the system. So, what I'm going to do is go back into Excel. So, here's that export that I just pulled out of Business Central. If I go across and I go, okay, perhaps take a look at the customer posting group. What if I tried to put in a value that's not an acceptable value in terms of our database? So for example, there are three values that exist in this table for posting groups as domestic, EU and foreign. Any of those should be fine if I use those. What if I do a different value? Okay, so I've entered the data that's deliberately incorrect. And if this time I attempt to publish, It identifies the line that has the error, and if I open the message center, it tells me specifically that that value, HUH, huh, is not a recognized value within the customer posting group table. Okay, so if I move off that and refresh my data, confirm the refresh, so we're back to the acceptable values. So the validation works. So as long as I'm careful, I can choose to amend or add data. For example, giving them a credit limit of £10,000 for this customer tray research. End the data, click on publish. It went through validation, successfully updated. And now if I take a look at that customer card, they have a credit limit of £10,000.